today we're going to be looking at the live well pump. Because we have this weird issue where every time we would go to turn it on, we'd have to back up for like a minute in order for it to pump water in. Uh, that's all about. Nothing clogging it, nothing in it, should be fine, right? I'm thinking maybe it's the pump. So what I did is, at the Walmart, what's this little guy? Like 29 bucks, 30 bucks. 800 gallons per hour, straight or angle mount, so I can do either one. And this looks like it's going to be an angle mount, not straight. I don't know, we'll figure that out once we get in there, but uh, so. I'm not really sure what my old one did. 800 gallons per hour sounds pretty decent. We'll give her a try. Can we get in here with him? Let's see what we got. I even said a little yay. Because I'm a moron. Will you watch me? Will you realize that? I'm an idiot. But it's cool. My life, nothing ever comes easy. Hair's blowing around in my face. Which I really don't care. Normally, but since I'm smoking a cigarette, I'm not a big fan of the smell of burnt hair, you know? I wanted to smell burnt hair and smoke crack. You should get something out of it. Crippling drug dependency, but I'd get something out of it. Well, these things are on right there. Okay, this battery is. This terminal is not coming off of this battery. One of the rough waves, I'll tell you that. They were on there, boy. So. Got it disconnected. On to the next step. Moving it, and everybody goes by these fucking fancy schmancy freaking control the motor batteries. It's a Napa high cycle maintenance free commercial battery. Spent hundreds of dollars on a freaking crazy name brand freaking super battery or no shit. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not running a marathon here. Uh, oh, excuse me. Right. So, now we're going to take a look and see what we got inside. Alright, so there's our live well pump. Looks like it's held on there by, oh, well, nothing. That's not mounted at all. It's just screwed into the back of the boat. Oh, sh**. Well, this might not be too difficult then. You're right, this is my life. This is going to be a big so we'll get in there and we'll see what we can do. Alrighty. So what have I got here? Does this thing go together? How does it come apart? I just don't know. Well, obviously I gotta take this hose off. You know, there was one of these freaking stupid clips on my dad's motorcycle too. I don't know what the I mean, I'm sure they're probably great clips. They hold things in place. But, how the hell do you get them off? One thing I've found in life is that everything that goes on at some point in time must come off. Should be simple, straightforward. But because this is me, it is not. Uh, let me go grab another tool. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, let's see if I can get this screwdriver. There we go. And 
wiggle it just a little bit. And wiggle it just a little bit. Woo! Now, this thing here. I mean, it looks like it's just screwed into there. Problem is, I get down here. And I got nowhere to go. So, what the fuck? How the hell am I supposed to do that now? Now, of course, it said it should be simple, but <clears throat> what have we learned about my life? Nothing is ever simple. It ain't turning. So, when I tell you, my life is just a fucking walking train wreck. I mean it, people. It's not a joke. It is what it is. And you just figure it out. Problem is, I want to figure it out without breaking it. Wasn't that beautiful? It just fucking came right out. Son of a bitch. There's something in my life actually went easily? This can't be right. There's gotta be trouble ahead. Big trouble ahead. Because otherwise this just wouldn't be me. It just wouldn't. I'm telling you. I'm just like in shock right now that this went as easily as I thought it, as, well, as I, I just, wow, okay, so, I'm kind of confused as to what to do now, because I did not expect it to go this easily, I'll open this bad boy up, so, I kind of totally brain farted, I did it out here, you guys didn't see, this was screwed into here, so you basically just unscrew it, unscrew this cap. That's why I like this, because either way, you know, it, it, it's universal. So it doesn't matter if you have a, if you need a, up, you know, vertical mount or a angled mount or whatever, you can do either one. This is a beautiful thing, because sometimes you don't know until, you know, you're getting ready to install it. But there is one thing I don't like about this, which I just realized. Look at which way the outlet is. Look which way the inlet is. Now how the fuck? That should be on the other end. To me, that would just be good common sense. It has some problems. Because, uh... Hopefully this hose will reach far enough. I kinda have to put it in one of the way, don't I? This could this could be this very well could be an issue here. Why would they do that? Why would they put that on the same side? It don't make sense. That's just that's just boggles the mind. What? Why would they put that on the same side? That just that just sounds retarded. So I don't know if this is gonna work now. Because I don't know if this is gonna allow me. I think it's gonna. I don't think I have a long enough hose here. I don't. I don't have a long enough hose. That's the first time I heard that. Wait a minute. What if I do this? Could I possibly do that? No, what's the... No, I can't. Because if I do that, I don't... 
If I do take on water, then that's going to get submerged, right? I can't have that. Okay, people. Well, now remember, I said I'm an idiot. So what I didn't do was, look at this. See how they show it on the other side? Well, all I had to do was remove these four screws, spin this bottom part around, and bang. Perfect. I told you, I'm an idiot. You guys didn't believe me. Well, I proved it. Well, I guess I'm not an idiot, because I figured it out. I guess I'm not too much of an idiot. But I'm still an idiot. So now, things should go fairly smoothly. So, that being done, now I can just kind of put this in here. Put this on here. Let's try and fit this on here this way. And more leverage this way. Oh, let me get a C clamp there. Let me get a, not a C clamp. Uh, it's all, I don't know, some kind of clamp. Clamp in my ass. Huh? So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to switch out this freaking retarded clamp. One of these. So much simpler. I like the simple things in life, you know? You want it tighter? It tighten it. You want it looser? You loosen it. Wow. Foreign concept to a lot of people. Make something easy. <sighs> Is that as far as it goes? I think I should go a little further at least. I'm talking about balls. Look at that balls. Tighten her up. That ought to do her. I never use the screw on these things because let's be honest. Flatheads suck. And as soon as you get it turning, I can angle it and put it where I'll be able to get to it. Get in the hole! Get in the hole! Again, that's what she said. That's what she said. Get in my hole! Hey man, if that's what you want. Are you sure you're ready? Because I'm about average for a porn star. I don't want to make it too tight because it's plastic. And I don't want it to snap. This just does not seem like a good plan to me. You know what? I might just end up siliconing the mother out of it, you know? So, what do we have here? Yes, this is my dad's handiwork. See all that lovely, lovely, lovely silicone at Angel's for This is not threading right. Could have to do with all this nastiness around it. Or I could have just had the damn thing backwards. Which is a more likely scenario. Okay, so what I did was I saw that there was a mound of silicone here before. So I just kind of pulled all that off, or most of it, anyways. Still kind of messing with it a little bit. Cleaned that out because it was gross. Put the pipe in. And then just re-silicone it so it's not so it's watertight. You definitely do not want water in your boat. That can lead to a bad day. You don't want bad days on the water. You know, try to avoid bad days on the water. I mean how? If the fish ain't biting, that's a bad day. That's a bad day I can accept. The boat being at the bottom of the lake, that ain't what I want. Now, I'm gonna try and thread this on here while I'm in here. Just to not see on here at all. It's going to there and then it stops. Let's 
this actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. There's still plenty of time for me to find Still plenty of things that could break. Plenty of things that could go wrong. So, stay tuned. Still gonna do some work over here. Probably put, throw some silicone on it. I wanna get a screen for it too so it doesn't get a bunch of junk in there. Then all I got left to do now is the wiring. Two wires. Shouldn't be too hard. Famous last words. Because this is me. So you know we're gonna we're gonna see what happens. Notice that there is a fuse on it. Now, this is two amp fuse. That is saying five amps. So, I'm gonna need a bigger fuse. That is for sure. So we're gonna see what we got. And see what we can work out here. All right, so give me a minute while I go take a look at what I got and see what I can make work. I've come to the conclusion but it is going to be best to use the existing wiring here. And once I cut this wire, man, there ain't no going back. At least not easily. There. The old live well is officially off. Might be a good idea to take the fuel tank out. When I uh, go to do this, I burn the the connectors. Probably not the best idea to have a fuel tank in the boat when you have an open flame in the boat. Just saying. Might not be the greatest idea ever had. More than likely nothing would have happened, but why risk it? I don't feel like dying today. Right, I probably wouldn't die, but you know, don't want to ruin my boat either. Uh, yeah. This is gonna be fun. Uh, so one thing I hate about working on this boat is there's like literally no room to such a tight space. Phrase it. Okay. Got that on there. And, uh, I'm doing this one first because I figure I might as well get the tougher one done first. Good crimp on it. Oh yeah, that's good. Uh, I figured this would be the best idea to go with. Because, you know, it is on a boat. Which is going to be in water. And this, I think, these, I think, give you the best seal. And it's like magic. Melted those together. Since it has a fuse on it, I don't have to do it under there. Which is cool. Which I am grateful for. You got to be grateful for the little things, you know? Don't go in the water. So now, we're 
basically good to go. I just need a 5 amp fuse, which I don't have, I gotta go get. But after that, we should be ready to rock. Yeah, yeah baby. And I wanna test it out before I go siliconing that all up. And this shit don't work. And I gotta go, you know, do something else. I don't wanna have to freaking totally redo it. So, and uh, once I get that fuse, I'm just gonna toss that fuse right in here, connect it there, take the hose, put it in the back, and test her. Yeah, man. See what? See, uh, see if we did it. Everything's a learning process. I like to do stuff myself on the boat just so I know how it works. You know, sometimes it's not just learning what to do. It's also learning what not to do. So, you know, everything's a everything's a learning process. And hopefully the weather will warm up and I'll be able to get out on the water soon because. Um, Jonesing. I'm jonesing for a bite, baby. I'm jonesing for a bite. I need to get out on the water. So the pops was a good boy. He brought home the fuses that I needed. Oh, you guys. All right, so I just I put the battery, or I put the battery. I put the put the fuse in. So it's wired up. It's in. And now we just gotta test it. Let's get that done. All right, I'm not exactly ready here, so let me move some stuff around and get situated, and I'll uh, I'll uh, test it out, and we'll uh, we'll see if my handy work works or if I suck at. I didn't want to have uh, I didn't want to have like a bunch of going into the live well pump, so what I did was I uh, <coughs> got a hose screen. And a uh, and a fitting, and I put them on the boat like this. Ran a bead of silicone around it, as you can see. I can just connect the hose like so. I think, and let's see what happens. It's working just fine. It was working whether it's on or not, so that's not good. I don't know, hopefully I inadvertently fixed it. Who knows? We'll know eventually if I did or not. <laughs> 